today, the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, announced and named Stephen Began as the new state special representative for North Korea. Pompeo made the announcement at the State Department just a short time ago. The Secretary of State said that he and Began will travel to North Korea next week. Began comes from Ford Motors, but he previously served in George W. Bush's administration as a national security advisor. He also held a top role at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Here's some of what he had to say. I fully understand the importance of this job. The President, you and the American people and what you expect from all of us in achieving a more peaceful world. The issues are tough, and they will be tough to resolve. But the President has created an opening, and it's one that we must take by seizing every possible opportunity to realize the vision for a peaceful future for the people of North Korea. This begins with the final, fully verified denuclearization of North Korea as agreed by Chairman Kim Jong-un at the summit with President Trump in Singapore. I will work closely with my colleagues here at the State Department and throughout the U.S. government, as well as our allies and partners around the world, to achieve our shared goal of a safer and more peaceful world. Well, CBS News, excuse me, CBS News State Department reporter Kylie Atwood is in uh, our Washington bureau with more. Sorry, i got to clear my throat a little bit. <laughs> so, so you want to go? I'm or? good. I'm All ready. Right. <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> Kylie, uh, what more can you tell us about Steve uh, Began? Yeah, so Steve Began is coming into this role um, about six months after Joe Yoon, who previously held this title as spe special representative to North Korea, left the job. So it's been vacant for quite a while, uh, which is noteworthy considering it is a primary foreign policy objective of this administration to be engaged with North Korea and work towards uh, the full denuclearization of North Korea. But he, as you said in the introduction, uh, Steve Began, he comes from Ford Motors. He was a top executive there. But he's also had some experience here in Washington. Uh, he has advised members of Congress on national security issues. He was also a member of the staff of the National Security uh, Council during President Bush. And he has some contact with members of the Trump administration. He was actually uh, floated as one of the people who was under consideration in between national security advisors McMaster and Bolton. So before uh, Bolton came into that job, they were thinking about uh, Steve Began to fill the job. So Kylie, understanding why this is such an important role, what are some of the challenges uh, facing Mr. Began? I, I would guess that the first one is that by all reports, and perhaps you can update our viewers on this, uh, North Korea has not begun to denuclearize as the president has sometimes suggested. That's right. It is an uphill battle that he is facing right now. And a lot of that is because there sort of is a standstill in terms of U.S.-North Korea diplomacy right now. So we saw the Singapore summit. We saw Trump meet with uh, Kim Jong-un. And then we saw Pompeo make a visit to North Korea um, earlier this summer. It didn't go so well. And we actually have a report out just this week from 38 Degree North. They are an organization that monitors things that are happening in and around North Korea. And they said that there has not been any significant dismantlement of one of the missile test launch sites that Kim Jong-un apparently committed to President Trump that North Korea was going to destroy. So there hasn't been any significant activity on that site over the past few weeks, which is huge because what this administration is working towards is denuclearization. And so that's why having Steve B and come into this job, he's going to have a lot of work to do on the diplomacy front to try and get North Korea to commit to taking some action on de denuclearization before the administration gets too frustrated. So they will be traveling, though, to North Korea next week. You know, what do you expect will happen with that trip? That's right. So, um, as I said, Pompeo was in North Korea at the beginning of July. Now he will be going back. This will be his third trip to North Korea. And we know that the administration wants some commitments from North Korea on denuclearization. So whether that is a timeline, whether that is North Korea laying out what it actually has, what its uh, nuclear program actually looks like, so the U.S. can test that against what information we have about that 
that program, those would be steps forward. So we don't know exactly, you know, what is on Pompeo's agenda, but we do know that he will be looking for some specifics that he can bring back uh, here to the U.S. that the State Department can follow up on. All right, Kylie Atwood reporting for us uh, from Washington. Kylie, thank you as always. We appreciate it.